posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby... Hey Aries, it's Purple Haze, and I'm back to shine a positive light on your dark days. And <laughs> I'm here to do a reading for you guys, just to touch on your love issues or situation, your finances, as well as um, you and your person, all signs, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you God, thank you universe, and thank you ancestors for all that you do. And all that you will do for every lesson is a blessing. Please continue to shine your positive light on me as well as the Aries listening to the video. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So first, what we're going to do is touch on the overall energy that we're that we're uh, feeling right now. Okay, so let's just see what's up with you guys. How's your energy? See what pops out from there. Then we'll go on from there. Okay, so. Any messages you have for Aries in, in regards to their energy? What is their vibe? Okay, what stands out the most as far as the Aries? What energy are they giving? Oh, we have the door to value. Okay, so money, 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 money. Got the money. Lots of money stuff going on. What else? Hostility in reverse. So that's good, okay? Let's see one more. Yes. And we have patience. Okay. So, so far, Aries, it seems as if you guys have good energy surrounding you, at least for the most part. With the door to value here, you are attracting money. Um, There is going to be, if not already, a situation where money just seems to be flowing towards you. And you feel like, you know, you're in a better space financially. Um... It's like you're attracting money, okay? You have the, the greatest love when it comes to money, or at least that's what's coming towards you, Aries, okay? And it was a hostilities card here, reverse. Um, no more conflict. You are arguing less, okay? You used to be very hostile in the past, possibly in 2020, but now it seems as if you calm down. You don't want to argue anymore. You'd rather just either agree to disagree um, or you rather just compromise in a situation, okay? And then we have the patience card here. You'll seem to be more patient than before. So, that's a good way to start it off, uh, Aries. Now, let's get on to you guys' uh, story, okay? Okay. Let's see. Any messages you have for Aries, okay? We have the Emperor card in reverse, okay? So, someone's being a little rebellious <clears throat> does not like being told what to do being very much in control of themselves okay so it seems as if you're going against someone or something that's trying to have some type of authority on you aries okay and then you have the ten of wands in reverse okay hmm, and then you have the tower card in reverse so although aries it may seem as if sometimes you're always getting so close to where you want to be, but there might be like a little mishap, but that's okay. It's like, it's like you're moving closer to where you want to be as far as your goals, your goals, and as far as, um, your foundation areas, but you're not quite there yet, but that's okay. No need to get discouraged. You're still um, almost there. No need to give up. Okay. Do not do that. And then you have the tower card here in reverse. So you've, um... You seem to be moving fa moving past the chaos, okay? You were in a, you were in a very chaotic situation, situation, sorry. <laughs> a very chaotic situation. Um and it seems as if you per you uh surpassed it, okay? There was a lot of drama, <sighs> lots of drama that you were going through, but it seems as if you're moving past all of that. And not only that, because you moved past the drama like I told you before, it's like you refuse to be put back in that situation again. You refuse to let another person have that much control over you. So it seems as if you were probably dealing with someone who came out very controlling. But now you feel like the power is in your hands, okay? You're doing much better and you feel like you have the power, okay? Yes. Let's see what else we got. Ten of Swords. Okay. Yeah. 
that was a lot of drama a lot of heartbreak i don't know if it was from you aries or the person that you were dealing with but you did go through a lot of a lot of stuff you have the ace of pentacles here in reverse um it seems as if you often get dis discouraged or you get distracted every time you get caught up into some drama so it seems as if when it comes to your finances you'll be doing okay but you probably often allow outside people to get into your business or get into your situation you have the full card here in reverse sometimes you might seem to be naive so maybe you don't even realize it maybe you're dealing with a situation or a particular person who kind of distracts you with their bullshit just to be blunt they distract you with that but at the same time, you don't want to see it that way. You try to move past it, and people often see you as being naive for it, okay? Let's pull a few more cards, and then we're going to move on to more, okay? Let's see. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. So, feeling uninspired. Yeah, this person is a major distraction. You have the Three of Cups in reverse. Sometimes you often feel lonely, or they probably tell you that. They probably often mention that they feel lonely, which kind of causes a lot of conflict. But remember, you had the hostilities card in reverse, so it seems like you're trying to move past the BS, but this person kind of often bring it, brings it back. It's like a circle, an ongoing cycle. Let's see what else. And then we have the Six of Wands. So at the end of the day, somebody is doing what they're supposed to do. And they're being recognized for it. And um, there's a lot of people who are proud of this particular person. They tend to praise them every time they accomplish something that they probably haven't done before. So yeah, Aries, if this is you, it seems as if you're on the right path, okay? You're going, you're headed towards the right direction. A lot of people see that. They see the change within you. You just often get distracted by um, BS. And it has a lot to do with a lot of pain. Okay, so whoever this person is that caused that pain in the past, there was a lot of it, which is why it often gets brought up. But you're trying your hardest to move past the Aries. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to... Hmm. Let's see. So this was more, I'm trying to figure out, was this more of a, this was more of a general reading in itself. It wasn't necessarily about love, but it wasn't just about finances either. It was like both, okay? So we're going to move on to what to expect from this situation, Aries, okay? And then we'll move on to you and your person. So now that we see what's going on right now or in the near future, let's see what's headed towards you from the middle to the end of January, okay? What's to be expected out of the situation? You have the Magician and the Mirror card in reverse here. Lack of confidence. Somebody's not going to feel as confident as they, as they used to, okay? We have the Cornucopia card in reverse. So all of those blessings that you are getting right now, you are receiving right now, Aries, Cherish that and hold on to that because there's going to be some type of delay, okay? Again, that distraction. Someone with low self-esteem, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Someone who has either low confidence or they just feel like they can't overcome a situation that they're in is going to come full circle right back again. The thinking man here, okay? So there is someone willing to grow, willing to learn from the situation, okay? Um, very knowledgeable. They like to take in a lot of new information. So it's like, even though you or this person, I'm assuming it's you, Aries, even though you, when you go through things, um, it usually is a lot that comes down on you. You probably seem, it probably seems as if you get caught up in some drama, okay? Probably quite often, but at the same time, you always seem to try to, you're willing to learn and you're willing to grow from it. That's what it seems like. You don't let it get the best of you which is really good, okay? Um, let's see what else is to be expected. Okay, we have the page of swords here in reverse. Just remember to keep an open mind. You don't really know. Everything is not... You can't predict everything. You can't control everything, Aries. Or at least that's what you're telling someone in your life. Um... It's okay to get a different perspective. It's okay to, let's see, we have the world card here. So a lot of hope, 
a lot of promises okay just because um you feel as though some things don't go your way aries doesn't mean that it won't just keep the hope okay and with the knight of wands here so you're very excited about what's coming towards you aries okay a lot of excitement a lot of great adventure headed your way okay you see it's a lot going on in the background with this card here so there is a lot of excitement to be expected and you're ready for it and you're here for it just keep an open mind okay you're not going to know everything okay so keep in mind and don't feel like you know everybody um or you can don't feel like what i'm trying to say okay just <laughs> just keep your guard up and don't put anything past anybody is what I'm trying to say. You just never know what a person's true intentions are. Not to say that everybody's out to get you Aries, but at the same time, I want you to just pay attention to everyone. Even the people who you feel like, you know, wouldn't, you know, wouldn't play you. Pay attention to everybody and everything, okay? Okay, so let's move on to you and your person. All signs, Aries. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. I was listening to a lot of old ass Bow Wow songs last night at like two in the morning. Don't ask me why, cause I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I guess you could say I miss the good old days. So, okay, you and your person, Aries and your person we're going to be using the romance romantic oracle energy cards here so let's start off with aries and aries okay you and your person what's going on between you and your person two cards for aries and aries okay two cards for aries thank you very much we have worth waiting for okay for the aries here so this is you aries um you feel maybe you're not sure but it seems as if this person is worth the wait okay it may be moving slowly or there might be some type of delay but it's for a reason okay you need to get all the information that you can so take your time and then this person here your aries with the honeymoon card here in reverse it seems like the both of you are impatient and because of that it's causing a lot of tension Maybe it has a lot to do with what's going on in the world right now. You feel like you want to do so much and you're looking forward to so much, but you you can't. You're at a you're at a hold. But like I said, just to remind you, everything is worth waiting for, trust me, okay? Aries and Taurus. Two cards for Aries and Taurus. You and your person, how do you feel about one another? Aries and Taurus. Ooh, okay. This one came out first. We have the unrequited love, okay? Not enough attraction, not enough chemistry. So that's what your vibe is, um, Aries. Let's go to Taurus. Okay, we have the flirt card in reverse. Okay, so... Mm, this is weird because I don't see any... There's not much attraction between you two, at least not sexually, okay? But for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, you two still kind of either communicate or are around each other, but I don't see either one of you um, feeling each other that much. I don't know if you're that much attracted to them, and they're not really flirting with you um, like you expected, okay? So that was a weird one. Like, it's like y'all not interested in each other, but y'all still around each other mm. aries and gemini you and your person how do you two feel about one another aries and gemini aries has the codependency in reverse here okay so mm. yeah you're getting rid rid of some old demons some old uh addictions okay someone who you were very attached to or something you were attached to okay you're getting past that aries let's move on to gemini what is gemini feeling okay we have make the effort in reverse okay so they're waiting on you to make that effort because it seems as if you, it was a you problem <laughs> at least that's how they they feel 
Um, they feel like you were too busy being attached to something or someone else, possibly even them. But they feel like they, there's no need for them to make the effort. It's all on you. It's all up to you. So maybe you are the only one that's putting in a lot of effort um, within this situation. Aries and Cancer. Two cards for Aries and Cancer. How do you two feel about one another? We have the Attraction card first. Okay. The Attraction card for Aries. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. So, it's like you're very much attracted to or somebody really feeling you, possibly more than one person feeling you. And then the, who are we doing? Um, cancer, right? Yeah, this is Cancer. So, Cancer with the very soon card here in reverse. Hmm. It seems as if you're not going to make the, well, not you, I'm sorry. The person that you're dealing with, uh, this cancer here. It seems as if they're not really making any decisions right now when it comes to you. They're very much attracted to you, but they probably see that there are others attracted to you. So they're kind of debating on if they can handle that or not. Because they want you all to themselves. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Aries and Leo. Okay. That was not cute. Aries and Leo, how do you two feel about one another? Two cards for Aries and Leo. We were doing fine. I didn't drop not one card until now. Okay, so what we got going on? Aries, you have the true love card here. So you see this particular Leo as your true love. It's a very uh strong bond between you two both of you are fire signs so i mean and then leo free yourself um it's time to take control back of your life so you feel like you're very much attached to this person you see them as possibly being your true love but leo seems to want a lot of space right now maybe they're distant because they feel like they need to get some type of control of things they probably don't like how <laughs> it's like they're maybe either afraid of love or they're just not with um being up under each other Every day, all day, okay? And they're kind of like trying to get loose. Um, Aries and Virgo. Aries and Virgo. Two cards for Aries and Virgo. Come on. What's this about? Okay, Aries. You deserve love in reverse here. So, hmm. Someone's not feeling too lovable right now. Or at least you feel like this person you're dealing with doesn't deserve you. And Virgo. Healing family issues. Yeah. So Virgo has to heal a lot of family issues. A lot of personal issues. Um, and because of that, you, you're doubting if this person really deserves you. While you're trying to focus on them... They have a lot going on as far as their family, okay? Or maybe the both of you have a family with each other. And it seems to be affecting the relationship. But you're wondering if this person deserves your love or deserves a second chance, okay? Aries and Libra. Aries and Libra. How do you two feel about one another? Aries and Libra. Aries has a romantic feelings. Okay, so a lot of deep feelings for your Libra Aries. Let's see how Air I mean, let's see how Libra feels. One card for Libra. Okay, what's this? Love yourself first for Libra. Okay. So yeah, it seems as if <clears throat> there's a lot of feelings between you two, okay? But Libra has a lot to learn when it comes to learning to loving themselves. You probably love them just as much as they love themselves, okay? You're trying to encourage them. But there is a lot of deep feelings between the both of you. Okay. Um Aries and Scorpio. Aries and Scorpio. Oh. Aries have getting to know each other in reverse. So, um, hmm. As you reveal your animal cells to each other, your bond deepens. But that's the opposite. So it seems as if you guys' bond are just, it's not how it used to be. Let's see what Scorpio is feeling. I don't know. It's like you guys are 
uninterested or you're distancing yourself from Scorpio. You feel like they're hiding something. You're not able to get to know them as much as you'd like to. Okay. Let's pull one from the bottom of the deck. True love. Okay. So we have true love for Scorpio. So they still have feelings for you. They might not show it as much. And it's probably why you're doubting whether or not if you should continue you know, trying to get to know them, but it seems as if they have, they hold a lot in with Scorpio. But, believe it or not, they see potential in you. They see that there is possibly a true love between you two. Um, Aries and Sagittarius. Aries and Sagittarius. Two cards for Aries and Sagittarius. Aries has the heart-to-heart -heart conversations. There is some honesty that's about to happen. Somebody has something to say, something to reveal. Sagittarius. Let's see. Sagittarius. Probably Sagittarius. Deception. Yeah. Deception here. Okay. So somebody lying. <laughs> somebody lying, but there's going to be a heart to heart and there is going to be some truth revealed. Okay. Don't know if you're going to like it. Don't know if Sagittarius is going to like it, but it has to come out. You two are going to... Um, have a very deep conversation is coming so just be prepared for it. somebody's ready to talk and tell the truth even if they're not they don't say it um aries and capricorn how do you two feel about one another two cards for aries and capricorn two cards for aries and capricorn okay we have the it is safe for you to love card Okay, Aries, so there's that message for you. It's okay for you to love, okay? And the Capricorn with the trust. They're trying to convince you to trust them. You have a lot of trust issues, but um, they're here to tell you that you're safe with them. Um, at least they're trying to make you feel that way, that like you're safe, you have nothing to worry about, okay? Just trust. Trust them. Okay, I won't do it. Um, <laughs> Aries and Aquarius. Okay. Aries and Aquarius. Let's see. Aries and Aquarius. Okay. We have for Aries, keep an open mind in reverse here. So you're very, very much close in with Aquarius. Uh, you're not really expressing yourself. You're not really showing who you really are okay Maybe one more for Aquarius past life relationship you have known each other before so this is possibly an ex that you're dealing with or someone who you've known from the past you grew up with someone you went to school with whatever the case may be um that's who you're dealing with but you're not sure if you should keep an open mind with this particular person um maybe it has a lot to do with what you two what you've known about this person from the past because you know about them, now you're kind of reconsidering if, if, you know, it'll work out between you two. Aries on Pisces. And then we're done, okay? Two cards for Aries and Pisces. Oh, and then we're going to get just that. We have the codependency in reverse here. So letting go of some type of addiction or obsession over someone. You're, you're moving away from it. And then Pisces with the soulmate here. So it seems as if you, Aries, were letting something go in order to get something better, okay? That's what the situation may be. Maybe you were dealing with a toxic ex, but you have someone new coming in, or you're already dealing with someone who is possibly a, your soulmate, okay? Yeah. So that's what I have for Aries for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, if it resonated with you guys, that is great. That's perfect. If it did not, just take what did and leave the rest behind okay thank you guys so much for subscribing to the video and staying with me and sticking with me i really appreciate it for those of you who have not subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button down below um hit the like button leave a comment all of that good stuff and i will see you guys in the next one bye Serene and pure and free